So the Nintendo Switch has been revealed, guys, and it looks like most people are really excited for it. However, I saw something that inspired me on Reddit. Actually, I didn't see the actual thread, but I saw a picture, and the person said that it came from Reddit. I'm going to be showing some images up here, and it's about the Joy-Con controllers. People have come up with this really interesting idea about the Joy-Con controllers, and possibly, this is not proof, this is just a theory of, you know, something that could potentially happen. Um, or something that we that would be really cool if it happened, we could swap out the Joy-Con controllers with other types of controllers. Imagine how awesome that would be. Now, before I begin, I should address that the controllers that I'm about to show you that I came up with and that this Reddit post came up with, they wouldn't work for a two-player mode. They would only be one-player contraptions. And on top of that, it would be kind of expensive for Nintendo and the consumer to go through with this. But I wanted to share these ideas anyway because they really could enhance the way that we play games. So let's get started. So the first idea that came from this Reddit post that is probably the coolest of all of them is the GameCube Con. And what this is, is it's basically a GameCube controller, except that it's split in half and you attach both of those halves to the sides of the tablet controller. And then maybe that could come with like Smash Bros or maybe, heck, you could just use it for any game. But seriously, imagine playing Smash Bros like that. Like, you know, this new console, it doesn't look like there's any way to hook up a GameCube controller in any way whatsoever unless they, they do, like, wireless to support the new Smash Bros. game. But what if you could just do that instead? Like, look at the design. Like, this is honestly ingenious. Now, there's a lot more ideas, so let's keep going. And next, we have the Shooter Con. Now, what this would allow us to do is to play games... Um, with trigger buttons, because as we, I mean, we can't really tell that well, but it doesn't look like there are trigger buttons on the back, which honestly is a little disappointing. But if there were other types of Joy Cons like this, one, this we call it the Shooter Con, it could be used for games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, any third-person shooter, like you know maybe Metroid in the future, Splatoon, things along the lines of that. Having some sort of trigger-based controller would be really cool. And on top of that, they could make both of these nearly identical, so this could be used for some sort of two-player experience, even though that would still be kind of weird. But anyway, interesting idea for a controller. And this next one is called the Yokai Con. Now, I have personally never played Yokai Watch, and I'm not interested in, in the slightest, but the controller itself looks really interesting. The picture has some sort of a spinning disc and light button. Now, I'm gonna guess that has something to do with the game. Anyone that plays Yokai Watch, let me know in the comments what this controller is potentially referencing, or if it's just something that this designer just created off of the top of his head. But anyway, the controller does look really neat. And then the last one from this Reddit post is, I guess we'll call it the Pokemon Con, and just, wow, this thing looks awesome. So this is a controller that would probably only work if there was like a brand new Pokemon Snap game. And what it has is it has basically all the functions of an old school camera. Now, if you weren't around in the 80s or 90s, um, then you probably won't, or you might not have the greatest idea in terms of how this controller would work, but it would work very similar to how the old cameras used to work. On, on the old cameras, there used to be like this big button near the top, um, and you push that to take the picture. And as you can see, from the photo, he has that, as well as a spinning wheel to allow you to zoom in and out. I mean, just, wow, that is really genius. And like, if just think about if that existed, and this tablet controller also has a gyroscope. That would actually be just amazing. Imagine being able to aim with the tablet, holding it, you know, using your little spinner wheel to zoom in closer, and then get that shot with the, of the Pokemon. Oh my god. That would just be so incredible, and, you know, I highly doubt any of that is going to happen, but just imagine if it did. That would be so cool. And now I have three ideas that I made up myself, starting with the cart con. And this is a very basic design. Now, of course, this is just a rough draft, and I used sample GameCube buttons just for display, but the idea is that basically it's a driving wheel styled controller with buttons that you can use to navigate. And, again, this could be something that could come with Mario Kart 9, and I think it would be a really fun accessory to have. And now I actually have another Pokemon themed one. I'm going to call this the Pokeball Con. Now this wouldn't be played with Pokemon Snap games, but this would be if like a Pokemon Sun and Moon experience were to come to the Switch. Now the first thing you're probably noticing from this illustration is the Pokeball on the top right corner. 
Now, what you could potentially do, the idea that I had, is that instead of navigating through your Pokeballs and, you know, selecting one, what you could do is just tap the button on the Pokeball to automatically throw it, and that's it. And if you want to switch between Pokeballs, maybe tap, like, the white of the Pokeball or the red of the Pokeball to navigate through, and then just the main button to hit it. And the reason I think of doing that is because this could potentially be more efficient than scrolling through the menus, and it would be more fun, too. Like, honestly, that would be really cool. And then you can also see the four white squares. Those would allow you to automatically tap, you know, if you tap like the top left square, you're going to use the first move that Pokemon has, the top right square, the second move that Pokemon has, and so on. It'd be just a faster way to do it. And you also notice in the top left that there is a bag icon. This could allow you to easily access the backpack. Now, I'm not sure if tapping the button for the backpack would be more efficient or not. That's something that I didn't really think too thoroughly about, and I couldn't think of how that could be more efficient than just, you know, tapping the screen or just using the control pad and, and the regular buttons to get to the backpack. But I still decided to throw it in there anyway, as well as a run button. If you tap that, it just allows you to run right away. So the idea behind these controllers is really to make Pokemon battles not exactly different, but you control it in a slightly more efficient way, aside from, you know, maybe accessing your bag. And now the last idea I have is the least likely to ever happen, but I feel like it would revolutionize the way WarioWare games were made. So, let's be honest, the last WarioWare game we got was WarioWare DIY on the 3DS, and of course, smooth moves on the Wii. We're not going to count Game & Wario because that really wasn't a WarioWare game. But anyway, imagine that they actually make a brand new one on the Switch. I'm just going to call it the NS, it's weird just saying the Switch. But anyway, imagine that this controller looks like a bop it. And if you don't know what a bop it is, I'm going to go ahead and throw up a picture. A bop it is this little strange toy contraption. It's very simple. Basically, uh, the machine itself, it tells you to do a certain amount of tasks within the toy. So if you want to bop it, you have to push the bop it button. Um, if it says twist it, you have to go to the little yellow thing and then twist that and so on. Imagine pieces like that on a controller and then making micro games where you have to do that. So like, what if there's a micro game where you have to twist and then flick something at a certain time, or you have to like bop it as fast as you can, or you have to like pull some lever to like, for like a certain micro game. Like seriously, this would revolutionize WarioWare games. And I know it won't happen, but dear God, I still had to say something about it because I just kind of came up with the idea and I thought, okay, this, this could be super cool. So I guess that's about it for today. I wanted to get another video about the NS out because I was really inspired to make this. So uh, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment. Do you have any other additional ideas for this or do you think this is just the stupidest thing ever? Now I'm aware that they're probably not gonna do this. Again, I feel like I need to re reiterate myself. But I wanted to talk about it anyway because, again, it just was so cool. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm very active on those sites. I communicate with you guys much better on there than through YouTube comments. And I also post updates and whatnot. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day.